I'm still not feeling that great today, so I'm gonna keep today's Sweet Tooth Thursday short and sweet. Literally. Today's selection is Kuro Karinto. That's that's it. That's the name. It means black karinto. Yes? Karinto. Karinto, yeah. I've shown karinto before from a uh, little store over in Yame, but this is a different one. I used I get this occasionally from uh, just the grocery store. It's I think it's made with black sugar. The one I showed before is thin and hard and long. These ones are short and fat and stubby. I don't even know what the company name is. The other one's a real local brand. This one's a little bit bigger, I think, but I don't think it's a huge brand because I can't even read the company name. I mean, I, I don't see any big, you know, there's not, it's not a latte or a Glico or a Meiji or anything like that. I cannot figure out, I mean, something in here could be the company name, but I can't find it. I mean, it's in kanji, obviously, if it's there. Um, I can find the address, but I don't know who makes it. Well, I guess it is, actually, I guess it is a bit bigger brand than I thought, because it says Tokyo on here, so it's to oh, Tokyo Karinto? Whatever. Either way, it's delicious, and it's cheap. Uh, 135 gram bag for 95 yen, and, whoa, and that one is totally clumped together. That, not one, that's seven. Let's go for a, a smaller bit. Here you go, Nina. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think? Yummy, right? Yeah. They are much fatter, much softer, and much sweeter than the karinto I got in Yame. These, mmm, totally different kind of karinto. I mean, those ones from Yame are my favorite. I love them, but I like to have this too, because I do have a sweet tooth. The other one's more bready. This one's very sugary. That's why it's called Kuro Karinto, because it's made with this black sugar. Mmm. They probably have about the same mass as the other one, but these ones are full of air holes. That's why they come out much softer, much lighter, and the black sugar makes it much sweeter. Mmm. I kind of do and I kind of don't want to eat this all in one go. I think I'll break it up. So yeah, it breaks apart very easily. Mmm. Mmm. I'm pretty sure they're fried. I mean, it tastes like way that, that way, like they're fried, but it's not overly oily. I quite like it. Mm. My kids all love them when we have them, they go very quickly. So I bought two bags because I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish one off by myself. What about you, Nina? Yeah, you good? You like it? Yeah. Apparently even Momo wants some, but no, you're not getting any Momo. Yeah. Mm. No Momo. None for Momo. No, you don't want that big piece, no. You take one, take one. Here, let me break it up. I don't really know how to describe the taste other than sweet. It's not just pure sugar. It's the black sugar. Kurozato. If you know what kurozato tastes like, that's pretty much what this tastes like. Bready, kuro, fried kurozato. Mm. Good. 10 out of 10. Would buy again. Will buy again. I know I will buy again. Got another bag sitting in the kitchen. Excellent. Right, Nina? Mm. It's time to say bye bye, Grandma, and everyone. Bye bye, Grandma. And everyone? Bye bye, Grandma. Everyone. <laughs>